All right, this is the daily video update for Tuesday, March 23rd, 2021. I am the Reverend Oscar Sinclair, the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, currently biking through the neighborhood that Stacy and I live in. Over the winter, we did a series of daily updates from the trails around my parents' house in Dryden, New York. The Finger Lakes Trail, the Jim Shug Trail. And used that as a framing mechanism for doing these updates. And those updates were well received. And I don't know if this is as important, but I enjoyed doing them a lot. And so as we've come back to Lincoln this spring, I've been thinking about how to recreate that dynamic in Lincoln. So at the risk Well, I'm not sure what it, uh, the risk is, but we're gonna try doing this from the back of a bike. We're just getting now from our house to the top of the Jamaica North Trail. It's right about where I live. All right. And here we are. It is a beautiful day to be out and about in Lincoln, Nebraska. It's still a little cold, hence the gloves. But I've been riding on this trail for the last almost a year now. I've seen it through all of its seasons. Just start see things start to get green. Anyway, on to the actual update for today. All uh, through the month of March, we've been talking about commitment as the theme of our worship services and of our small groups. And our small groups are driven by. Uh, a theme packet that we subscribe to called Soul Matters. And the packet every month comes with prompting questions. And so what I'm going to do for the next four days as I bike down this path is go through some of those questions and answer them as best I'm able to. So the question for today is how has, how have commitments shaped your life? For me, I, I think a lot of my life, certainly a lot of my adult life, is driven by making at times overly ambitious commitments and then trying to figure out how to, how to do them well. And sometimes that's big. I mean, ministry and marriage come to mind pretty quickly. But it's also smaller scale things. This year marks six years since I quit smoking, and that was done basically by saying this is a thing that I'm committed to doing, and we're just going to do it. This year as well, this will 
wait for a moment to pass here. You know, this year when I went to upstate New York, I said my <laughs> my commitment's going to be to run a half marathon and train for it. So I'm currently about six weeks out from the Lincoln half marathon and wondering exactly what I've gotten myself into. As it turns out, I actually really prefer being on a bike. For me, that's one of the best ways to hold myself accountable is by making a decision in advance, whether that's to quit smoking after my honeymoon, or to go into ministry, or to sign up for a half marathon. The commitment comes first and then figuring out how we're going to do it, that comes second. All right, practice some good bike safety and stop at the rail lines. And I will see you tomorrow.